Hey guys, I'm sure most of you Battle Royale shooter fans out there watching this video have already played or heard about Player Unknown Battlegrounds or PUBG for short. I've played it a few times for both PC and console, but frankly, I never really got the liking to it. I've also played the mobile version and in my personal opinion, I've had a lot more fun playing there than I have playing on the PC or console edition. And it's not because of the game mechanic or the game idea or anything of that sort. It's mainly because of how buggy the game really is for PC and consoles. Not to mention how ridiculous the console controls are. And on top of the buggy nature of the game, most of my friends won't even play it because you have to purchase the game in order to play. Now why purchase a game that's going to potentially blow up your machine? And I could sit here and list all of the things that I don't like about the game in terms of gameplay and overall experience, but let's get into a topic that's more worthwhile. ROE, Ring of Elysium. Most people might say it's a PUBG copy or just another typical battle royale, but in my personal opinion, it's no typical battle royale. The game is quite similar to PUBG once you're on the ground and in the heat, but there are quite a few things that sets the game apart from the rest of the battle royales out there. First of all, there's no chopper or airplane or school bus in the sky to drop out of. Once you're done with Q and you're about to start your match, you're greeted with a map where you choose where you want to spawn. Enemy spawn points are highlighted with a blue square indicating that an enemy, a duo or a squad depending on what matchmaking mode you're in, has selected the area as their designated spawn point. Once someone has chosen a destination to spawn, that spawn point is no longer available for other players to choose. Once you've chosen your spawn point, you can go ahead and choose from three different classes. Gliding, Skiing and Climbing class. Each of these classes will provide you with three different packages at spawn, and each also having their pros and cons in different situations. I won't be going into those in this video, but leave a comment below if you guys would like a video with more information on the three classes and tips on how to play them. Now, once the timer hits zero and the match starts, 60 players will spawn on the map simultaneously, with weapons and perks specific to the class that they chose. From there, it's pretty much like any other battle royale. You loot, kill, loot, but there's a twist when you get to the end. Last standing player doesn't automatically win like in a typical battle royale. Actually, a match can end with no winner. The match is actually won once Ymir or the Snowstorm completely covers the map and the chopper comes in to extract 4 players from the map. Remaining players can either choose to fight it off till they're the last man standing or risk getting shot to death while climbing the chopper's ladder to escape. With that being said, the winner of the match goes to anyone who can secure one of the four seats on the chopper before being killed by the storm or another player. And that is it guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more content.